really well. The offensive line, I mean, what a package. And uh, you look at that offensive line, I mean, uh, kind of undersized but strong and uh, anchored by a three-year letterman in Brian Wallace, uh, one of the finest line snappers you'll see. Uh, so they have a big key up there for the Owls. And uh, I think you look at the pluses and minuses. Uh, uh, look a long way it figures the Owls tonight. And, of course, uh, I think Bradford realizes, number one, that they're not thinking about homecoming. They're thinking about closing out their senior season at home with another home victory. And here come the Owls, the red and black making their way out, and they will hit the assigns here and bust up the Dutch as they come through here. The Owls led by uh, senior Brent Robb as we get set for showdown here at Parkway Field. The Owls and the Dutch. Bradford will be in their home red and black and St. Mary's in their white and red. Josh McCready, who's one of the uh, captains, has had some trouble with theirs uh, because the lines there were sort of um, starting to uh, uh, fade. And one thing they told me about that was the fact that uh, they, what you have to do is you have to go out there and shake the field to bring the color of the lines back because a lot of the tire, uh, which ground up tire there, gets caught up in the top part. So once you shake the field, they have to have it done professionally, the lines come back. Yep, that's exactly right. That, that rubber down there that you're speaking about gets thrown up and around. I mean, it's in the kids' shoes and everything. You probably know. Tyler probably come home with it. It's in his cleats. It's everywhere, but uh, it's a great surface to run on, and um, if anything, that's about the only negative thing on it. But that, that field needs to be maintenance. Is it like a five-year thing? About every five six years ten years was oh, it ten leave geez that's even better but um, we definitely have the line showing tonight so Bradford's gonna go on defense let's see if we can't get our four and out and start the momentum quick well dropping uh, deep here now for uh, st. Mary's it'll be Steve Gall and also down there is Scott Schwartz and the interesting thing is the way Kyle McFarland's been kicking, and this one may be out of the end zone. We'll have to wait and see here. McFarland set to approach the ball. The red and black, and we are underway. Right down the middle. It'll be taken by Schwartz back at the 5. Out to the 10, 15, 20, and he's cut under tackle there. A great play by Aaron O'Toole as he undercut him and made the tackle. And it'll be first in 10 St. Mary's. And we're underway. Hula Hula going to the left side. St. Mary's coming out with twin receivers to the right. Lone setback is uh, Catalone in there. There's uh, Lucas Wendell, the quarterback. Runs a little counter. Oh, they bury him. As he cut back to the inside there, he was buried. It looked to be Tyler Arlington and Brent Robb waiting right there for him. And a loss of one on the play. It will be second and 11. Yeah, Coach Ackerman talking earlier about looking in a mirror this week with uh, St. Mary's running the wing tee. They come out with trips to the right, single back, and they try a counter, and Bradford's waiting. I'll tell you, that counter was run right into him. There was no way to go for Cogley. Cogley is the lone setback in behind the Wendell. Wendell wants to pass. The rush is on, and it's going to be caught out at the mid 40 yard line, and it's fumbled. It's, wait a minute, they're going to rule he's down. The ball was in the air. They're going to say he's down. He got hit. The ball came out. And Bradford is, uh, the coaches are a little upset. Did it come out before it hit the ground? Oh, my gosh. Did he bring the lumber to him? He hit him so hard, Frank, he laid him vertical to the ground, and I looked like he fumbled it when he cracked him before he reached the ground, but I guess maybe they're calling him he stopped his progress. Uh, wow. Well, that big looked hit like there. the Undertaker there. Jake Wells Woo. with a big hit there. So a first down for St. Mary's. Twin receivers going to the left, and a lone setback in behind Wendell here. Let's see if it's Cogley sweeping that way. Cogley trying to sweep outside, turns the corner, gets 5, 10, across midfield, and still on his feet down to the 40-yard line of Bradford, down to the 38-yard line. So Cogley has a first down, and it'll be first and 10 St. Mary's. St. Mary's running a quick pitch sweep. Uh, Cogley gets out there, but uh, I was watching some inside play, and uh, a lot of pushing and shoving, and looked like some holding going on in there. But, oh, I'll uh, tell you, there was a big hold there. And an interesting thing... Going back to that play before, I didn't think he was down. Twin receivers coming to the right side. They motion uh, Catalone to the other side. It'll be the fullback coming straight ahead, and they've got him wrapped up and thrown back. So Catalone will get nothing there, and it will be uh, second and about 10 to go. Rocco getting in there with Coltsy and doing a fine job stopping the trap. Uh, they're going to try to probably pick out some run games, but they've come out with a little bit of a mix already, and I think sometimes it, you show your cards a little too soon, you know, Frank? Stick to the trap a little bit before you start the reverses. St. Mary's going quickly here out of their huddle. They've got the wing to the right side. Here's Wendell back to pass. Airs it out. It's caught by Hula Huli, and he gets inside the 35 down to the 33, so he'll get about seven on the play and make it sec third and three. Bradford playing good defense and pass. They allow the underneath pass, which is the short four to six yard pass, which they uh, give up a little bit to that zone. But uh, Bradford will give that up. 
at St. Mary's uh, putting a couple of the receivers, Chad Bosher, to the right side. They've got a wing to that side. Here's a toss to the right side. Catalone cuts it back up. He's tripped at the line of scrimmage. Flag on the play. And I'll tell you what, uh, there's a hold. This one is coming back. Yeah, boy, I, I thought I had saw one earlier. I mean, I'm not trying to make the calls, but... He got uh, the first down. They're going to say he got the first down, but there was a big hold there. And going back to the, the one play there, I had the glasses. I think when they, when uh, the kid caught the ball there, Kevin, I don't think he was down. He was in the air. I hate to go back to the pass like that, Frank. I know you can't get the call back, and it doesn't do us any good to try to, but... Uh, that's a tough one. That's a judgment call, and that's the officials could see it, that he was down or progress was stopped, and uh, that's a judgment, and that's their judgment, and um, we move on. But this is a big thing for Bradford here. I thought they held on the sweep play, but uh, now they're starting to watch the inside play, so maybe Bradford can get off the ball here. Well, it'll be third and about uh, 14 to go. It's a 10-yard penalty from the spot of the infraction. At St. Mary's uh, putting Boschert out wide to the right side. At Hula Hula going to the left. St. Mary's runs a different kind of wing T than the Owls. Wing is to the right side. And back to pass as well. The rush is out. Oh, the ball is loose. It's fumbled. Big mix up underneath there. And the Owls uh, covering it up. And St. Mary's got it back. I'll tell you, there were four red shirts there. And they lowered the boom. And Wendell went down. And it will be a fourth and a kicking situation for St. Mary's. How about the speed on the outside? Aaron O'Toole coming in on a lightning, a blitz, whatever you want to call it. He was there, grabs his arm, pulls it down. They fumble the ball, and Bradford's looking to get it back. Well, I tell you, I am a big fan of uh, blitzing, and uh, I like to see uh, you put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Here's Hula Huli's kick is away, and Weezjock will have to let it go. They kick it away from him. It's, oh, it hit the official and went out of bounds. It actually helped the Owls as it goes out around the 14-yard line. So the Owls will have a drive start there. First and 10, our first quarter contestant as part of Toji's touchdown sweepstakes is Sherry Young. Sherry, if the Owls get a touchdown here, get a dinner special from Toji's Family Restaurant, Toji's Touchdown Sweepstakes. Boy, it seems like Jeremy O'Toole every time I see 61. So getting that ball close to his fingertips on a block punt. He's got one already this year, doesn't he? One, no, two blocks. Two Jeremy's blocks. got two blocks this year. Kleinberger coming wide to the left side, and the Owls go to their uh, ace formation with Snyder in the backfield. Here's Austin going to give it to Snyder off the right side of the line, and Snyder across the 14, out to the 17-yard line. So Dave picks up about uh, three there. It'll be second and seven. Bradford spreads it out, almost looks just like exactly formation in St. Mary's run. Trips to the left, single back with a wing, put him in motion and go to the trap. St. Mary's not a big team. Uh, don't have the big size that like Dubois or Punksy have. Uh, more like a Clearfield team and uh, have a little quickness there. The Owls will have to contend with tonight. Wells to the right side. The Owls in the ace formation with a double wing. Weezjock sweeping to the outside. Brent Robb out in front. Weezjock 20, 25, 30. Weezjock down the sidelines, 40. Cuts it back midfield. He's looking at the touch in his rear view mirror. 20, 10, 5. Touchdown Owls. Sean Weezjock. Weezjock going at 83 yards. And the Owls lead 6-0. What a block by Brent Robb. Then the speed of Weezjock. And the Owls lead 6-0. How about it, Frank? That's how you run the wing tee. Jet motion, single back, trips left, bring him across, hand him the ball, and say, see you in the end zone. Super job by Weez. So we're trying to figure out uh, 83 yards on the... 83 yards, and uh, two plays for the Owls. So just like that, the Owls have uh, taken a 6-0 lead. Here's the P after PAT try, and what do we have here? Uh, flags, and the official are going to stop play for a second. I don't know what this one is. Could be an equipment violation. No, it's going to be against the Owls. Yeah. Motion. Motion, okay. I think a lot of times you'll see kids forget to put their mouth guard in and get called for that down there. That happens quite a bit in high school and college. That's to call a motion with a mouth guard or something or equipment like that? The illegal procedure is this one. Okay. So here's the PAT try by Kyle McFarland. Wallace with a snap. Austin's put down. McFarland's kick. It's up. It's long enough. And it is good. The Owls 7. The Dutch nothing. This is Owl. So the Owls getting set for the kickoff. And let's see if it's Catalone or Gall back there. Also back there is Cogley. Cogley's going to take it to 5. Out to the 10. 15. 20. 25. Trying to turn the corner. And he won't break that tackle. A great tackle there by Josh Holleran at the 31-yard line. And it'll be 1st and 10 Dutch. Just going back to that play, Frank, I just I was really watching the line on that for some reason. You know, I get goofy here. And they had four guys on the line, but they had five back 
five yards off ball. I mean, with Bradford, you got to have eight, nine in the box. You can't leave five guys deep. Dutch with twin receivers to the right. Wendell back to pass, airing it out there. He's got a man. It'll be caught down at the 50, down to the 47-yard line. Great catch there by Hula Huli, and he is a Division I material, a very good pass receiver there, and he makes the catch. So the first and 10 St. Mary's. Nice pass and catch there. That's a perfect fade route. That's that's college material pass and catch there. O'Toole just got his shoulders around a little too uh, slow, and uh, it was just a nice pass and catch. Same formation. And Cogley is the lone setback. It'll be Cogley, our Catalone check that, trying to sweep to that side. And now one tackle is missed there. He breaks another tackle at the 40, and then is pushed out of bounds after a seven-yard gang. So a nice run there for Jeremy Catalone, the senior from St. Mary's. Couple of missed tackles by the Owls, and it'll be second and short. Yeah, that's something you don't usually see on Bradford. They don't usually miss that like that. Um, they usually uh, wrap up and grab a hold of him, but there was four guys that had their hands on the runner and didn't bring him down or wrap him up, and that's a coach's nightmare because you start teaching that at midgets. Wrap them up and let the cavalry come and finish them, and um, Bradford just didn't get on him there, but you won't see that too often. St. Mary's senior center, Keith Zolkowski, leading the uh, Dutch out. Same formation, and now they split the backs, Codley and uh, Catalone. And, oh, there's a fumble on the play. It's loose, and Brent Robb blew that one up, along with Joe Reinhardt as they got in the backfield and forced the uh, bad exchange between Wendell, the quarterback, and Catalone and Codley. And that'll make it third at about uh, seven to go for the Dutch out at the uh, 43-yard line of Bradford. You said you liked blitzes, didn't you? That was pitcher perfect. Brent robbed through the A-gap, and for you that aren't here, he grabbed the football when the quarterback handed it to the back. Wow. But luckily, uh, Wendell fell on it for the Dutch. Wing is to the right side. Here's Wendell back to pass. Airs it out. He's got a man there. This one's going to be picked off. Intercepted by Aaron O'Toole down at the 23-yard line. It'll be first and 10 outs. And I'll tell you what, O'Toole was sitting on that one, baby. He got his shoulders through. He goes, burn me once, but you won't burn me twice. And he's there for the INT. Nice job. The Owls got a decent rush on. Looked to be the right side of the line. Uh, did a good job getting uh, in there and uh, making Wendell maybe throw it a little quicker than he wanted to. Well, there, he's going to be doing that a lot tonight, I think. Bradford really likes to blitz on the weak side, and their formations are showing a weak side. The Owls set up with Kleinberger to the right side, and the uh, wing is to the right. It is Wieschok. Here is Austin under center. It will be O'Toole sweeping our way. O'Toole cuts it back 20, 25, 30. O'Toole all the way out to the 33-yard line, and he is close to an Owls first down. Great cutback by uh, Aaron there. Yep, nice job. I was just watching Arlington, uh, Reinhardt, and um, Wallace doing a nice job coming off the ball trap. And you had talked about the slant, and they slanted in, and Reinhardt got off the ball the way he's supposed to, and he puts his face mask right in the tackle's ribs, and away he goes for the run. Nice job. Those guys sometimes are the unsung heroes up there that have to pull and get down the line like that, and that's a tough job. Well, the offensive linemen, they, they know they have to work very hard in the offseason to get strong to move the big guys out in front. Here's Austin going to give a counter play to uh, Wiesjock up the middle. And Wiesjock spinning as he comes back to the line of scrimmage. And will make it second and a 10. Maybe he'll, now they're going to say he lost a couple, so make it second and about 12. That was a nice job by Dustin Yule. He grabbed a hold of Wies and he wasn't letting go of him. So that was a nice job by the Yule boy. Um, let's see what he is here. He's a senior 260-pound uh, tackle, and he did a nice job hanging on there. Josh Scott, the senior co-captain, and he is a uh, tight end for the Owls, playing in place of the injured uh, Josh McCready tonight. Kleinberger coming to the left side. Double wing with that ace formation for your Owls. Austin puts O'Toole in motion. Here's the crisscross to Wieschuk. Up the middle, 30, 35, out to the 37-yard line. So they get about five there, and it'll be third, and probably about seven to go for an Owls first down. Make it six. St. Mary's did a little bit different that time. We had talked about guys five yards off ball. That time they brought two more up near the box. You're getting seven guys at the line of scrimmage, which makes it a little bit tougher to block. And uh, it helps St. Mary's to cut down on them sweeps and traps. So uh, let's see if they try to pressure him again or just lay loose. I think if they lay loose, Bradford's going to run the sweep on them. Now, one thing the Owls do is they wear you down, too. They score and wear you down. Austin going to give it to the fullback, Snyder. Snyder straight ahead across the 40. He'll be short of the first down out at the 41. And let's see what the Owls do here on fourth and about two. No movement from the Owls bench yet. Uh, 
they're waiting here. They're going to put their punt team in here and make St. Mary's go a long ways because the Owls' defense is playing very, very well. Looks like Snyder must have fallen on the ball. He come off the field quick holding his ribs. Let's just hope he got the wind knocked on him and didn't do anything damage to his ribs or anything like we had with Travis Henry with the Bills because that's all he did was fall on the ball and tore cartilage. So he looks to be in a little bit of pain. St. Mary's with a couple of men deep here. And uh, here is the kick from Jake Wells. Wells puts it high into the air. And St. Mary's uh, looking to take it. Hula Huli calls for the fair catch out at the 34-yard uh, line. And it'll be first in 10 St. Mary's. So that punt covering about 31 yards for Wells and the Owls. So it'll be first in 10 Dutch. Still working on Snyder's ribs down here right now. They're up underneath his pads just getting a feel for it. So I think it's maybe a little bit more than... Um, falling on the ball right now because they've got two or three people over there, Doc Yoe, Daryl the trainer, and um, Schneider saying, I want to play. <laughs> He's all football. Well, St. Mary, as you can tell, they're sky high for this uh, matchup. It's a league game. Of course, these two teams battle in District 9. And here's Wendell, going to roll it to the left side, cutting it back. Oh, great job there as they forced him to cut it back, Arlington and Rob. And uh, down goes uh, uh, Cogley, and it'll be uh, second and uh, long. Yeah, Bradford's doing just a little bit different. They usually don't go nickel this quick on second down, even though it's 11, and they bring in Hollerin, and he, they're going to go to the nickel package right now. And, and uh, St. Mary's has been throwing the ball, and they've been running the slant, so Bradford's going to bring another defensive back in to try to stop it. Snyder was out. Josh Scott was in there at middle linebacker, uh, along with Rob for the Owls. And St. Mary's with motion that way, coming this way. Oh, they blew this one up. John Colts was in the backfield, and then uh, uh, Jeremy O'Toole came in, and Joe Reinhardt finished him off. But a great drop there as the Owls uh, trap him deep in his own backfield back at the 27-yard line. I mean, they were, there was three Owls, three red shirts in the backfield. Oh, boy. Jeremy O'Toole had Cogley around the legs, and all he could see was Joe Reinhardt running at him. Wow. And Joe hammered him. Woo. Talk about the refrigerator, huh? So that'll make it third and a mile. We'll call it 18. And uh, twin receivers to the right, one to the left. Wendell going to fake the counter play back to pass. They've got him. Jeremy O'Toole, a flag on the play as well. Hold on here. We'll see what it is. But O'Toole with a sack back at the 18-yard line. And if this is against uh, St. Mary's, uh, it is. So the Owls captain, Tyler Arlington, out there right now. Bradford will refuse it because O'Toole had the sack. That'll bring up fourth and a mile. I thought there was motions, which would make it a dead play, but nope. So the Owls force a punt. Jeremy O'Toole playing in place of the injured Josh McCready coming in from his outside backer spot makes the play, and it'll be fourth and a long way to go. And guess who's standing back at midfield? Sean Wieschuk. And I'll he's bet the uh, house, making the up car, the wheels. I'll bet the house, the car, and the dog, you don't kick it to him. Yeah. Hula Hula standing back at his six-yard line. I didn't say you, honey. Just the house and the dog. <laughs> Almost blocked. Hey, kick it. Oh, you're going to lose, partner. <laughs> Weezak has it at the 40. Weezak looking to turn the corner, 45, and he'll be dragged down there. So Weezak gets four on the play, and it'll be first and 10 hours at their own 45-yard line. Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should have better. <laughs> I guess so. Susan would have been coming straight at my house tonight. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, Wees did a nice job fielding it, getting downfield, but uh, just lost a little traction there. We're not hurt. Nice field position to start out with here at the 45. I'll bet you I know why he kicked it that way. See the pressure coming in again? Oh. Jeremy O'Toole. That kid's tough. No, O'Toole might as well uh, take his lunch the next time and stay there. Here's a sweep to the right. O'Toole turns the corner. Aaron across the 45, out to the 49. He had one man to beat. He'll get five on the play, and that'll make it to second. And about five for the Owls. That uh, one player, Andy Yost, a junior, 5'9", uh, coming up, just making a shoestring tackle, Frank. You were right, or he would have been seeing his numbers from behind. A lot of teams do see the back of their jerseys, don't they? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I thought Aaron had a great cut there, but uh, he stayed home. The wing is to the left side, and Wiesjock in a slot to the left. Austin wants to pass. Mike going to air it out. Going deep. He's got Wiesjock there. Overthrew him down at the 20-yard uh, line. It's incomplete. That'll bring up third at about uh, five for the Owls. Oh, Wies getting a little respect there. They had two guys on him deep and a guy inside playing, playing the short on Wies. So he had three guys in his territory. So Bradford might see that quick and go to the short guy. Uh, and get a get to maybe that tight end coming and dragging across the middle and hit him with a short one. 
Now, the Owls haven't gone back to the sweep to the left side again, where they did with Wiesjock uh, on that touchdown run, the 83-yard touchdown run. It might be coming here. Double uh, wing and that ace formation in the backfield at Snyder. Here we go. Wiesjock turns the corner. Midfield. Down to the 45. To the 44-yard line. And a first down, Owls. And what a great surge there by the Owls' offensive line. They needed five and got about eight. Excellent call. Excellent call, Frank. Do you got the headset on to the uh, coach right now? That was the jet sweep. Left side, same thing. Put him in motion, turned it up. Gain a quick seven. First and ten, Bradford. Now, I almost think now you get him running that way, you come back with a counter here, and that may be where the Owls may be going. Double wing here. Wiesjock with 93 yards rushing for the Owls. Trying to go over the 100 mark here in the first quarter. Wiesjock sweeping to the left side. 45. Needs a block, and Wiesjock will be stopped at the uh, 43. So he'll get about... Uh, Two or three, and that'll make it uh, second and long. 1.35 to go here in the first quarter. Bradford seven, and St. Mary's nothing. Just watching everybody as a group right now. Bradford's getting off the ball real quick. The line's firing out of the huddle. You can just see the spark. St. Mary's already early in the first, and they look just a little bit dragging. You had mentioned about what's going to happen after the Brookville game, and I think Bradford's got the sparkle right now. The Owls go back to that double wing formation. Snyder in the run spot. Here's Owen O'Toole. O'Toole sweeping that way. Robin Arlington, big kick outs along with Wallace. Inside the 40, down to the 35, and close to another Owls first down. I'll tell you, that one guy was in there so quick, uh, Brian Wallace, it looked like he just got enough of him to steer him away. And I'll tell you, the center has a lot of work to do. Snap the ball first and foremost, and then kick out somebody shooting the gap. And Brian did just that, and the Owls faced with third and about two down at the uh, 37-yard line. The Owls go back to the uh, wing to the left, and they've got the double wing in behind. Here's Snyder straight ahead. Snyder inside the 35, has the first down as he gets down to the 34-yard line, and that looks to be good enough for another Owls first down. Yeah, you had mentioned just a second ago, and that's actually the term they use when the guard pulls. He has the first responsibility. It's called the kick out. And if you watch when Snyder plants, they want him to go 90 degrees. We say sweep. But Bradford and the wing T does not actually run a sweep. They do not get outside the tackle with it. They actually run right up the tackle's back, plant their foot, and go 90 upfield. Once you break the line of scrimmage, then it's up to the running back to see what's there to go. And like you said, Arlington and, uh, and Reinhardt and those guys come across, kicked out, which is the guy coming up. He kicks him out. He cuts up inside of him. And, he, and one more backside guard, what they call logging, he logs through the hole and finds the poor innocent safety out there and usually takes his head off. Well, Brent Robb nailed the safety on that touchdown run of 83 yards. First and 10 Owls at the 34 of St. Mary's. The Owls threatening again with just uh, 15 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Here's Austin under center. Austin going to give it to Wiesjock going to the other side. Wiesjock at the 35, cuts it back, gets down to the 31. And we got a hold here as a flag on the play. This one looks to be coming back. Yeah, I, th I think I caught it. Bradford was downfield, had a lineman down there, and he just caught it. Grabbed it. I think it looked like he grabbed his shirt. Couldn't pick out who it was, but um, it looked like a hold on Bradford. But they're talking to Bradford, so this is good. Face mask. Face mask is the uh, indication from the uh, side judge. So somebody got their hand on the face mask of uh, Wee's Jock. So that'll give the Owls uh, a first down here. I Let's see if it's uh, be 15 big ones. That's a personal. He hasn't right. he give us a personal sign? Yeah. Well, no, five. I'm, I'm wrong twice, Frank. Give me your glasses, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> it is a first. It got the. So it'll be first and four, because they keep the play and they replay the down. That's the end of the inside, the 25, or check that. Now we got flagged the other way. I lost the band. O'Toole going to the left. That was my fault, as uh, he ran to the left side and has the first down down at the 17-yard uh, line, but we have a flag on the play. Great play fake by Mike Austin. I'm not guessing what it is, Frank. Well, this is a hold. <laughs> yep. The hold is down at the 22, so that'll bring it back to the 32 and make it first and about, uh, oh, six or so from there. Now you had that stat. Would Bradford have about 125 yards in the first quarter, you said? Yeah. St. Mary's, 13. Mm. And most of that was on passing, I get from Tom, right? I think about 10 of that was in the air and three was on the ground. So Bradford doing a nice job on defense. I think St. Mary's got the work cut out for him the rest of the night. 
Just underway in the second quarter, Frank, Kevin, Tom, Potsy, and Sarah with Owls football on WESB. Dan Ekes is our second quarter contestant. Dan, if the Owls score a touchdown here, which we hope they do, you'll get a Toji's dinner special. Toji's family restaurant, Toji's touchdown sweepstakes. Owls that double wing at the 32. O'Toole sweeping that way, cuts it back 30. Down to the 27-yard line. So O'Toole gets four, and that'll make it second and short. That was a nice job by Bobby Cup coming up on the outside trying to catch Aaron and uh, was able to do it because Aaron's so quick he was able to come up from his backside position at 165 pounds senior and did a nice job making a tackle from behind. Sometimes, Kevin, we get spoiled when a team scores in their first drive and it's a big run. Uh, now the Owls just banging away in here and if they can keep uh, the, the ball and the clock moving here, they can get their second touchdown. Austin under center. Going to give it to the fullback, Snyder, into the hole, inside the 25, and he has the first down, down to the uh, 23-yard line. So he'll get it by a yard. Uh, that'll make it first and 10 owls. Yeah, I just wanted to make, like you were saying earlier, uh, it's nice to chip off that big run, but uh, Bradford really likes to have that sustained drive, 6, 10, 12 plays, chew up 70 yards. And, you know, that, everything's firing, everything's working. You go downfield, you score. That's just as big to a coach as it is running off 80 yards in one clip. Jeff Kleinberger coming to the right side. Brian Wallace, the senior center. With a snap now to uh, Mike Austin. Wiesjock sweeping to the left. Needs a kick out block. Cuts it up the middle. Inside the 25, down to the 20. So give him four there and make it about second and six. How do you stop it? Four yards, three plays, first down, right? Yeah. So, you know, Bradford just does it like you said. They chew it up. They keep pounding you and pounding you. And right now that's what's happening. They're just taking the ball right at them. They've already come back from a 10-yard penalty, and they're down to second. What do they got? Second and five, second and six here. Mm -hmm. So uh, Bradford's looking real good on the drive. You know, a lot of times teams will throw the ball and, uh, of course, get some first downs, a touchdown, but the running game can really pound another team and break their spirit. St. Mary's with about seven men in the box. Here's the handoff to the fullback, Snyder, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Owls! Dave Snyder from 20 yards out, and the Owls lead 13-0. There was a hole you could have driven a truck through, and Snyder took advantage and galloped in for the touchdown. What a nice job. They faked the jet sweep, and I'd hate to say it, about 11 of the St. Well, that's all of them. 11 of the St. Mary's guys went with a jet sweep, opened up the trap. They give it to him, and as you said, he ran right through it easily. The only guy he ran into actually was one of his linemen downfield looking for someone to block, and there was no one there. And uh, he waltzes into the end zone for another score. So here's the uh, point after try coming up by uh, Kyle McFarland. And McFarland with a practice uh, move there, and now he'll get set. Wallace with the snap. And the uh, put down coming from Austin kick. Kyle's kick is up. It is good. So it's 14-0 Bradford. We have 9.53 to go in the first half. This is Owls football on WESB. In scenario on that last touchdown, Kevin, you were telling us that uh, off mic, uh, one of the Owls uh, offensive linemen logging down uh, beyond there had nobody to block. No, but well, they it was just that that jet sweep that you had picked earlier when they ran Wee's Jock on the touchdown and they ran another time for large yardage. And they all just bid on it. And uh, he faked by on the motion. They give it to the trap guy up the middle and there was just nobody there. Catalone and uh, shots deep for St. Mary's. McFarland's kick. And it will be taken back there by shots back at the four. He comes to the five, out to the 10, 15, cuts it back. This is one across the 20, and that's it. And I'll tell you, uh, Wells, Wiesjock wrapped him up and then uh, dropped him, and it'll be first and 10 St. Mary's with their worst drive start of the uh, half. Yeah, we've just been picking on St. Mary's a little bit here, but I remember when Timmy, um, the AD, Walter, brought in the wing tee, and it took him a couple years to get it perfected, and it's going to have the same thing with St. Mary's, to get it under control, figure out what they want to work out of, and get the kids used to the wing tee, because it, it can be complicated. The alone setback is Jeremy Catalone, the senior. Let's see if Wendell throws out of this when he wants to. The rush is out. Oh, blocked by John Colts, and then caught by one of the St. Mary's men there. Colts got a hand on it, knocked it up in the air, and St. Mary's made the catch, and it is uh, Wendell coming down with it. So Lucas Wendell, the sophomore quarterback, caught the ball. It'll be second and about uh, 15 to go for St. Mary's. He gets a completion for that, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> one attempt and one completion on the same play. But how about Joe Reinhardt? Did he want his second interception of the year or what? Yeah. The big guy was jumping up there to get it from him. But uh, John Colts jumped uh, way up in the air. The left end in a spectacular play by Coltsy. 
So second and long. St. Mary's rolling to the right side and trying to turn the corner there is the uh, running back, and that is uh, Cogley. And he's out across the... Uh, 15 to the 20. Jake Wells with the stop out at the 23. Here's a late flag coming in here. And what do we have here? Uh, I'm not sure. It's going to be a personal foul on either St. Mary's or Bradford here. I'm not sure. It's on St. Mary's uh, because the Owls captain Arlington is right there. And uh, Wells was still down there. And I don't know if somebody, uh, a little extracurricular activity had Jake there or what, but uh, I know Jake. He wouldn't say a word. So it'll be a uh, unsportsmanlike conduct against the Dutch and instead of third and 15 it's going to be third and longer this is what happens sometimes when you start out 0-4 you hate to pick on them but things just don't go well and then as they start falling apart it's just the old Murphy law things just keep going and before you know it there's no wheels left on the cart and you're right, Frank. It happened in the bottom of the pile. I mean, he punched him, spit on him, swore at him, did something. That's football, Kevin. Come well, on. Now, the way you and I play. Yeah. <laughs> so it's third and long, and the Owls will be in their pass defense mode, although they have uh, 11 of their guys within about uh, eight yards of the ball as they come up nice and tight here. Back to pass. Here's Lucas. Oh, he gets hammered, and a hold coming up here as somebody grabbed the face mask of, I believe it was... 60 Arlington going in there. Arlington lowered the boom on Wendell and somebody grabbed him by the face mask and uh, he went down. It is against St. Mary's so that'll be declined and it'll be fourth in a kicking situation for the Dutch. Boy did Tyler rock his world. And he lost his head too on it but wow. I'll tell you what when that quarterback puts his arm up and they call it wiping the window as he throws the football mm -hmm. his left side ribs are exposed and we are always coming weak and that's usually the quarterback's blind side and a good defensive end like that just sticks his helmet in the ribs Wiesjock standing back at his uh, 45 uh, or at the uh, St. Mary's 45 Hula Hula's kick is away Wiesjock gonna let it bounce it takes a St. Mary's uh, or a Bradford bounce at uh, about the 44 and comes to the 41 and stops there so the Owls will have a great drive start leading 14 nothing with 830 to go in the uh, first half here and I thought they were for a second, the official, well, he must be readjusting his flag. Thought they were going to throw another flag, Kevin. Yeah, I just want to mention Jeremy. That time they didn't send him on the uh, the block, and um, Morgan O'Brien comes in, and he almost gets a piece of the block. So Bradford special teams is just another part of this football team that's doing a super job this year. Well, Tom's totaling up the St. Mary's yards. We'll tell you how much the Dutch have. Wee's jockey in motion, sweeping to the left side, cuts it back at the 40, and he'll be under tackle there. He'll get a yard on the play. That play was slow developing, and it'll be second and nine. Yeah, getting a little picky out there right now. Both the teams are getting off the ground. There's maybe a little chit-chat going on there. I don't know if they're asking about what they're doing after the game and stuff, but uh, I think you're going to see some more yellow rags if they keep this type of play up. Uh, Bradford's doing a nice job. The thing I was saying about Jeremy O'Toole on that punt was the ball took a wild bounce, and he was smart enough to get away from it, so the ball didn't come up and touch him on the back and make it a fumble. Mike Austin comes up to center here and gets ready to run the play on a second and nine. The Dutch with only 55 yards of offense. Austin gives it to O'Toole, sweeping to the right. O'Toole cuts it back inside the 40, and uh, he gets down to the 37-yard line. Had a man, one man to beat and couldn't beat him. And a nice stop there by uh, the uh, Dutch. And coming up to make the play there was Scott Roddick, the uh, senior tackle. And it'll be a third and about five for the Owls at the 42-yard line of St. Mary's. Yeah, St. Mary's doing some little bit of switching here and there, trying to change it up, trying to stop some sweeps in the inside. I mean, you stop the the sweep, right? They trap on you. Touchdown. So it's tough to do, and uh, St. Mary's struggling a little bit, but they are doing some different things out there right now in defense. Bradford 14, St. Mary's nothing. Double wing, and that ace formation for the Owls. In motion, it's O'Toole. Here's the crisscross to Wieschuk. Breaks the tackle, 35. Oh, and then he gets tripped up as he gets down to the 33-yard line. Great tackle there by Brad Steinbach to save a touchdown, because if he doesn't make that play, Wieschuk is into the end zone. Yeah, Brian Miller right behind him did a nice job reading the key went to the a seam like he's supposed to at linebacker and uh snuffed out the scissors play and uh Wees did a nice job to get a few yards on his own it looks like bradford's gonna go for this here frank on fourth down now the owls as things start to cloud up here at parkway field hopefully the rain will stay away until after the football game we can get everyone home 
uh, safe and dry. The Owls going for it and fourth and two. Inside the 35, here's an option play to Weeshock. Turns the corner, 30, down to the 27. First and 10 Owls. There's one out of the playbook. Austin faked the, uh, the little uh, scissors play up the middle, then tossed it to Weeshock going the other way. He has the first down, down at the 27 of St. Mary's. Yep, Bradford, that's the only second time this year I've seen him throw that quickie pitch. Uh, they fake the trap, suck everything inside, send one guy out to block, and Weeze with his speed gets out around the corner and does a nice job. First and ten, Bradford. That's like a, a triple option there as uh, you fake the one, and then you can run either or make the flip. Owls go back to the double wing here. Kleinberger to the right side. In motion, it's Weezjock. Sweeping that way, needs a block. Weezjock behind, it's pulling guard Arlington. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. The left uh, left guard, Brent Rob logged perfectly. Arlington came through and cleaned the other guy out. And there came uh, Weezjock, and he's in for the touchdown. And the Owls lead 20 to nothing. Nice job. Just a basic sweep out of motion. And uh, they actually slipped and stumbled, and Coronati still couldn't catch him. And uh, Weez just makes it to the post on the corner of the flag and gets in there for the touchdown. So Super job. 23 yards on the run there by Sean Weezjock. And it's kind of interesting to watch those guards work when they pull like that. And uh, the Owls get the touchdown. So it's Bradford 20, St. Mary's nothing. The PAT is on its way. It's good. It's the Owls 21, the Dutch nothing. This is Owls football on WESB. Sean Wiesjock is uh, burning up the charts. He has 135 yards rushing. And coming into the game, uh, Wiesjock was... Uh, well over uh, 500 yards, so he's uh, closing on the 1,000-yard plateau. Uh, McFarland scribs it down the middle, taken at the 10-yard line by Catalone. Across the 15 to the 20, 25. Catalone still on his feet there. Breaks one tackle, but doesn't break the other one as uh, the Owls get him there. Colts, Wallace, and Josh Scott. And it'll be first and 10 St. Mary's out at their own 31-yard line. I'll tell you what, I, we just keep, everything's just firing right for Bradford, and just a basic run down the field on kick return, and everybody stayed in their lanes. I don't know if you picked that up, but O'Toole just stayed stopped, stayed where he needed to stay. A um, couple of the inside wedge guys had slipping. He broke to the outside, and our guy stayed home. That is so important. They did a nice job on coverage. So Sean Wiesjack with a couple of touchdown runs, 83 and 23. Snyder and uh, O'Toole and Snyder can sometimes go in untouched. First and 10 St. Mary's at their own 31-yard line. Wendell, under center, going to give it to the uh, tailback. Cogley comes to the right side. There's nothing there. And it looked as though uh, Dave Snyder was uh, there along with Joe Reinhardt. So Snyder and Reinhardt with the tackles. And it will be second and about eight. Nice job on the trap stop. Uh, Bradford just pushing everybody around right now. Starting to see a little bit of substitution right here. Just playing safe, I think, uh, O'Toole had some ribs were sore. They pull him off the field, and they got Josh Hollering in. All right, so the Owls uh, had a second and short here. We got motion by St. Mary's. Someone moved. Uh, this will cost him five, so it'll be second at about 12. Going back to that last play, uh, you know, Joe Reinhardt, a lot of times inside is double teamed, and so if he makes a play, generally what he has to do is he has to occupy a couple of guys, allow the linebackers to come in. If he makes the tackle, that's special. That's, that's a big-time play. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Good call on that one, yep. Joe's not the fastest guy out there, but, boy, he's quick for five steps. And, boy, when you get your tackles, usually don't. The big guys are your tackles, and you only want them for the five steps. Well, they're going to call it offsides against the Owls, so that'll make it second and three. And here is the uh, handoff to the uh, tailback. and come Oh, he lost the football. It's loose. It's picked up by Wallace. Bryant at the 40. Wallace down to the 34-yard line. And he's under tackle there, 36-yard line. So somebody stripped the ball. Cogley was close to the first down. Wallace says thank you. Bryant picks it up. It'll be first and 10 owls going the other way. I'm getting a little excited now, Frank, because usually you tell the kid to fall on it. I think senior Bryant Wallace says my senior year, I'm picking it up and running. And he did a super job of hanging on to it and picking up about six yards on the on the run. So Brian Wallace, our new uh, tailback. Well, I don't blame him. I see the ball. <laughs> hey, if I'm a, a defensive man and I play center and I see the ball on the turf, I'm going to try to pick it up and run with it. 
I'll deal with the coaches afterwards. <laughs> Double wing for the Owls at the St. Mary's 38-yard line. Austin, here's the crisscross to Aaron O'Toole. 35, down to the 30-yard line. So Toole gets a 7, maybe 8, and it'll be second and short. We're down to 5 minutes to play here in the first half. The Owls leading 21 nothing, And Bradford's defense, again, just... Uh, doing the job. I, I don't know how else you can describe it. They have been tough. Well, just on that, total offense right now for St. Mary's with four minutes to go in the second quarter is 20 yards. Going into this game, I know the Owls gave up some yardage against Warren, a very good Warren team, and the defense really uh, saying, hey, let's show them that we can stop people again. Wees Jock in motion, sweeping to that left side, needs a block. Oh, he breaks the tackle at the 30. Wees Jock can't break the other one and gets lassoed and thrown down, uh, down at the 27-yard line. It looks to be short of a first down, though. Yeah, Greg Cornati, a six foot, 200 pound senior for St. Mary's, coming in, grabbing hold of Wees and wasn't letting go and threw him to the ground pretty hard. Uh, nice job by uh, Cornati to get in there and take it and take that uh, angle on him. So make it third and two at the uh, 29. They put it back a couple yards uh, closer to the 30. Klagenberger coming to the right. The Owls go to their uh, the traditional wing set with the two backs in behind. O'Toole in motion. This is Snyder coming straight ahead. And he's inside the 25. And down to the 24 goes Dave Snyder. And he has another Owls first down. It'll be first and 10 Bradford. Correct me if I'm wrong, Frank. Other than that quickie pitch, everything's been between the tackles tonight. Yes, sir. That's that's power football. That's taking it to you and just getting it done. I'll tell you, the wind is starting to pick up out here. And, uh, of course, Mike Sykes says we'll see some rain tonight uh, as uh, that front makes its way in through. And hopefully it'll be after the football game and we get some of these people home. These people get home and dry. First and 10 Owls at the St. Mary's 25. The Owls knocking on the door, leading 21-0. Austin fakes, rolls out, throws deep, wide open, Jake Wells, touchdown! Touchdown, Owls! Touchdown, Owls! Austin with a strike of 25 yards to the right end zone. There's the passing game, and the Owls lead 27 to nothing. That lo almost looked like the tackle trap, Frank. Jake Wells had 15 to 20 yards on the nearest white shirt. Uahula was the one that was back there. He bit on the run play. Jake Wells just sitting out there waving his hands like a plane coming in. Throw me the ball, throw me the ball, and Mike Wells puts it right on the number two. Super job. Four plays, 37 yards, and the Owls lead 27-0. McFarland getting set for the PAT. Here's the put down. The kick is up. It's long enough, and it is good. Bradford 28, St. Mary's nothing. This is Owls football on WESP. Wrinkle, and it gives you something else to prepare for next week in uh, practice. Yeah, actually, that's just one of the standard plays out of Bradford's playbook. It's just a waggle to the uh, to the weak side, and they all bid on it and just made it look super for Bradford, but it still wasn't easy. Mike stuck it on the numbers, and Jake caught it. Here's the kick deep, and Schwartz will be at it back at the 5. Out to the 10, comes to the 15. Oh, gets drilled there. Great tackle by Dave Snyder. It'll be first and 10 Dutch. St. Mary's has a total of 57 yards of offense here in the first half. They have 22 on the ground and 35 in the air. And I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for that big pass play, uh, what Tom's telling me, that would be... Uh, like a pretty close to a goose egg for the Dutch. The Owls' defense has been firing at all cylinders. Yeah, I looked down earlier when I told you 20 yards. I was just looking at Cogley there. He has 20 himself, um, but he's carried the ball two, seven times. The Owls leading 28-0, 3.24 to go here in this uh, second quarter. Here's the handoff up the middle. They've got him, and I'll tell you what. One guy got him low, the other one got him high. And Joe Reinhardt and Tyler Ellington combine on the tackle, and it will be... Uh, second and nine and Reinhardt fought off for his man and made the play I'll tell you Jeremy O'Toole's playing a nice job right now it's that's he's doing a nice job filling in he's he's just all over the football field right now and Lentz and Reinhardt and Arlington and Coltsy just doing their standard job four tackles for Joe now here's a handoff oh they lost the football it was loose again and uh, they're going to say that he was down, so Cogley is down. But going back to Reinhardt, Rhino has four tackles tonight. And when you're getting up around four and five, well, your defensive linemen are doing a great job. Yeah, they, those guys are doing a super job. You're going to start seeing some new faces in and out. Coach Ackerman's done a great job this year substituting the players, getting the young kids in there, getting a the taste of it. Uh, he's got a great group of juniors and sophomores, and he's even got a freshman down on the sideline. So it be good to see some new faces, too. 
Owls leading 28-0. 2.17 to go here in the uh, first half. Back to pass. Wendell lets it go. He's got Hula Huli. It's caught and then dropped down at the 40-yard line. Incomplete there. Hula Huli had it. Couldn't hang on to it. So that'll bring up uh, fourth and a kicking situation for the uh, Dutch. Uh, Hula Huli's not happy with himself. He actually just took it to Aaron and beat him on the outside. He's running a fly pattern. Aaron just got back through a little bit late. Hula Huli had about three to four yards on him. Wendell put it right on the numbers, but he couldn't make the catch. The Owls getting their punt team in there as Scott and Abrams uh, run onto the field here and line up. Weizjock standing back at his 45. Here's the snap. The kick almost blocked again. And Weizjock has it at the 45. Sean needs to block 40. Weizjock to the 35, to the 30. Down to the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Owls. No flags. Sean Weizjock on the punt return, 45 yards. The Owls lead 34-0. Unbelievable. That was a great run back, but I have to. I, I, yeah, the Bradford clipped Hula Huli like you can't believe. I don't know what number it was, but they were all trying to crack back block. Hula Huli turned, and someone from Bradford just put his mask in between his shoulder pads and his back, and the officials missed it, and Bradford gets a score out of it. Um, again, that could have been a costly mistake, Frank, like Bradford has done before in the big plays. We get the penalty, and they bring it back. So maybe a different crew or a different view, they might have lost that touchdown, but we'll take it. Now here's the point after try by Kyle McFarland. It's up. It's good again. Bradford 35, St. Mary's nothing. If this was a fight, they'd stop it. Owls by five touchdowns. We still have uh, a better part of a half to go. This is Owls football on WESP. The Owls scoring on a punt return there. Uh, they've, they've scored on the pass. They've scored on the run. All they need now is a defensive touchdown, interception or fumble return for touchdown, and they run the tables here. Oh, I'm in the defense is probably licking their chops for that too, Frank. The Owls made to uh, keep their first team defense out in the third quarter. They put the backups in on offense. Kick is taken by uh, Schwartz at the 5, out to the 10, 15. Oh, he gets oh. snowed under there. He was stopped dead in his tracks by Brian Wallace. I'll tell you what, Wallace, head on, textbook, buried him. Out. First and 10 Dutch. I felt it from here. Wow, what a stick. I mean, he, he didn't, as he, after Wallace hit him, he didn't move. He went huh. backwards. He crumpled. I'll tell you, the last two kicks... If you've watched, Jake Wells has been the lead man on the wedge, and two St. Mary's guys just stepped aside like a bullfighter and said, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so the Owls setting up shop defensively here. St. Mary's first and ten. Lucas Wendell back to pass, throws it out, and Weeshock intercepts it. Back at midfield. Weeshock breaks the tackle, 45-40. 35 down to the 30, down to the 27-yard line. It'll be first and ten Owls. Sean Weeshock, that's another interception for your Owls. That was a super job. Wees wasn't going to be beat deep. He had five yards on him. The receiver didn't look. Uh, we saw the ball in the air, turned, broke back on it, grabbed it, ran it for about, what we say, 30 yards, Frank, on the return. Nice job. Unbelievable. I'll tell you what, this is a packed house, and the crowd's loving it. They are seeing the Owls. Uh, and, you know, Bradford's had a couple of mistakes. I mean, it's not a, they, like Steve Ackerman said, we haven't played a perfect game yet, but this is pretty darn close to it, Coach. O'Toole sweeping right. Needs a block. He's at the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Aaron O'Toole. The Owls lead 41 nothing. Unbelievable, friends. This is unbelievable. I want to go and say, Aaron O'Toole, congratulations, Brent, Rob, kudos. Pow, pow, and they spring him up the middle. Two super blocks just to make it happen. You can't run if someone's hanging on you, but boy, I'll tell you, those guys are firing and just sticking people. 1.36 to go here in the uh, second quarter. Tom's running out of ink. I'm running out. Got to get him too. another pen. Here's the PAT try. McFarland gets it up and good. And Bradford leads 42 0. We're only in the uh, first half. This is Owls football uh, WESB. Sometimes, you know, you can't put too much on it because of the score. Was it paternal that said you're never as bad as you are in losing? You're never as good as you are in victory? Yeah. So uh, Bradford still, like you said, have a few things to work on. But looking good tonight. Now, here's the kick. And it'll be taken by one of the up men, and that's uh, McDonald. Look, oh, and he gets labeled over on the sidelines as uh, Wallace and Morgan O'Brien lay him out right in front of the St. Mary's bench. And Tony DeFillip.